Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again with yet another TMNT Ultimates video, and today it comes courtesy of my friends over at Super 7, we're going to be checking out an advanced look of their brand new glow-in-the-dark TMNT Ultimates, the Mutagen Ooze series, all four brothers that glow brilliantly in the dark, and if you don't have the TMNT Ultimates, and you're a big fan of the Ninja Turtles... Well, then this might be right up your alley, but rest assured, they're the exact same figures. They just got a, a healthy green glow now. But if you were wondering, the box itself is the standard TMNT Ultimates packaging. It's all fancified now. It's property of TCRI, so it's made to look like the old TCRI canisters, which is pretty cool. So the ooze is oozing out every which way. It's got cracks all over it, Ultimates at the top, and of course, it's one of those awesome slip covers that all the boxes have, right? That adds 10 or 12 bucks to it, whatever you want to say. However, it's a nice display overall, right? For those of you who keep it in the box. And uh, you got Raphael, the witty voice of the turtles. Michelangelo, he's the wild and crazy one. Leonardo, battle commander. And Donatello, the crazy genius. And yes, all the boxes line up. They all match. They got ooze all over them. So it's pretty darn cool. But I get it. You want to see some glow in the dark. Boom. There you go. Glow in the dark action. And uh, I put these on the windowsill, just natural light, for about 30 minutes just to really charge them up. And they glow pretty darn good. I got to give it to them. So kind of seeing what exactly glows. Anything with color, anything, let's say, in terms of the shells or the front of their chest or the belts, those are not going to glow. Everything else, as long as there's a skin showing, yeah, it glows. And Super 7 does have a really good track record of glow-in-the-dark figures. My Mutagen Man is gorgeous. It is like a walking nightlight. So they did a great job here in terms of what you're buying these for, which is the glow-in-the-dark action. Because otherwise, it's just to save you time, I guess, these are the exact same TMNT figures with the exact same accessories. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. Heck, maybe get a lead apron or two. This is a look at the brand new TMNT Ultimates, the Mutagen News series by Super 7. And while I got all you Utroms here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my TMNT Ultimates videos. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, toys that glow in the dark. You know the deal by now. I guarantee you'll find something here that you like. We look at a lot of stuff, right? But a lot of it uh, doesn't actually glow in the dark all the time, which is a lot of fun. Now, I did notice that after having these out of the light, yeah, you know, after about 30 minutes or so, they kind of decharge a little bit. So whenever they're kind of fading, just pop them into the light again. Now, I'm just going to save you some time here again. Each of the turtles come with the exact same accessories Minus the weapons. So you get the same hands. You get the same slice of pizza. Nice little slice of glow in the dark. Little turtle, right? So you can reenact mutagen hitting the turtles. You got the mutagen canister that's busted open. Little paint on that. You get a open shell cell, which has got a little bit of yellow paint every which way. Just be careful of the little prongs right here. You want to crack those off. And then you got a closed shell cell as well. Now, to look at Leonardo. He's actually a pretty cool turtle. Now, for these ones... I left the IDW heads on there. I like the blue. It's a very vibrant blue. Kind of reminds me of the old Playmates, right? When they did all the wacky turtles. Everything looks great on this figure. I'll give it to him. If you are a huge TMNT Super 7 collector, these will be right up your alley. The weapons go in the dark. They fit into the sheaths. It looks great. He's got some, well, they all do, wacky yellow fingernails. And go real easy on the hands. They're very tight. You might want to heat the hands up. In fact, I'm just going to give you this warning now. Just heat up everything just to be on the safe side, especially in some of the turtles on some of the legs. Let's say for Leonardo right here. Just go really easy. Nothing cracked, nothing broke, nothing like that. Just that's my Super 7 heads up with all the figures. That's just what I do. I always go very, very easy with their figures. But nothing's loose, so that's a really good thing. I know the last couple waves of the TMNT Ultimates have had loose joints here and there. These ones are overall solid. Had no problem popping the heads. As you can see, you got the old school Playmates look or you got the IDW. For these, I will be keeping the IDWs on there as a change of pace. Raphael, same thing as Leonardo. He's got a really nice red to him, which totally works. On this guy, see the legs, a lot more fluid, a lot more workability. Nothing is loose. Again, across the board, nothing is loose. They got peg holes 
on the bottom. You got the weapons, really nice. Those glow in the dark, those fit in the weapon tree. I would say everything looks great, except for the fact, as I said, all of them come with the same accessories, more or less. Raph doesn't come with anything to put in the back of his pouch right here. You can always do a piece of pizza, of course, right? We do that at kids. You could do a shell cell, or you could just keep it as nothing. But it feels odd that he doesn't have that extra weapon to put in there. You know what I mean? So he's kind of missing that. It's it's odd to me. Same exact Playmates old school head. Looks great. Swip swap. Do whatever you want. Display him how you want. They both look cool. Michelangelo. Remember, as the back of the box described him as the party dude. I always like the expression on his head. I like seeing his teeth and everything else. So the teeth, the tongue, those don't glow. The mask doesn't glow. But everything else. I mean, you saw the video from earlier in this video. So you get the idea of what glows. And they glow very cool. And that's actually quite fun to have. Now, the nunchucks are a different story, right? There's no chained nunchucks. It's a solid plastic. How are you supposed to put those in there? That's kind of a bummer, right? Well, I'm just going to tell you, heat up a thing of water, right? And then get it going. Let it dunk in there for about 30 seconds. Kind of prop it up. I kind of found that it'll gently sort of be able to bend itself as it heats up, as you can see right there. And it'll start to fog up the camera, right? And then slowly take it out, and it should be very malleable. And you can form it to what you want, dunk it under some cold water for a little bit, and bingo, bango, you, you fix the nunchucks. I don't know why they didn't do chain nunchucks. They should have done chain ones, but they fit right into the back of his belt. So you want to do it for the other one? I just left this one as it is so you can see the difference. It totally makes a difference. Michelangelo should have had chained nunchucks. But the extra head portrait... Is still nice. Very cool. One side of his mouth open. But I like the IDW ones. It fits better for these turtles, I feel like. And Donatello is, of course, no different. He's got a very vibrant purple. It's a very vibrant, fun redeco of the turtles. It makes sense. No, I don't want to see them re-release every single Super 7 TMNT Ultimates figure as Glow in the Dark. This was one opportunity I feel like they missed right here. The bow staff is still the exact same size. Yes, it would have been nice, but then we have all would have been complaining. Like, ah, oh, I don't have to buy the new turtle, get the new size bow staff. I get why I didn't, but at the same time, missed opportunity. I don't know. That's all I got for you. The arms, the hands, the legs, the shell, everything articulates exactly the same as the turtles. Go really easy on the knees. Just for Donatello, it'll spin the knees are, are just kind of a little stiff. So again, dunk them in hot water for a little bit and go easy. Yes, you're going to have to do that. It's just how plastic is these days. The extra Playmates head does look good. And as you can see, when they get all stacked up next to their original releases, the standard releases, same exact figure overall. Front to back, doesn't really matter. It's the same exact figure. So again, I ask you, is it really worth it? Do you really need these? No, it doesn't really add nor detract from your collection, but they are a nice little one-off. And I could see someone having a grand Ninja Turtle collection, put these on a shelf. And when you shut the lights off in your office, you got the whole glowing shelf of Ninja Turtle figures, which would be kind of cool. But I wouldn't really get too upset if you didn't get these. They're just a fun little additive if you need them. Now, keep in mind, these are $55 a piece for the exact same figure. But unless you're collecting only Super 7 TMNT Ultimates, it's not a bum deal, right? If that is the only thing you're collecting, we all know. It's not the only stuff we always only collect, right? So just always keep those sort of things in mind. But when you stack them up next to each other and you got all the different figures, they look cool. It's a nice little nod to the Playmates overall. A nice little glow-in-the-dark touch really makes for a cool display. And when you have other Super 7 TMNT glowing figures, now I don't have the Foot Soldier or Bankster Stockman, but you get the idea. I got the Muck Man, I got the Mutagen Man. And those are fun. Those are nice oversized characters. And you flip the lights off. And of course, those glow as well. I put these right in the windowsill again. Got some really cool glowy action going. So they're nice and bright and very cool. So if you got these, I would say, again, just heat them up. Go slow. Go easy. Make your certain mods to Mikey's weapons if you so choose. But overall, they're pretty cool figures for what they are. So, you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything TMT Ultimates by Super 7. And again, thank you to Super 7 for sending this out for the purposes of giving you guys this advanced look. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, it is really a lot of fun when you have a cool toy that glows in the dark. 
I do wish more companies did more of it, not to go too heavy handed with it. It's that old school fun of it all, right? And we don't really have that these days. We're always, yeah, this has got to be perfect, yada, yada. These are just fun glow-in-the-dark toys. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.